Hey guys, it's Megan, and today I'm finally back with another sketchbook ideas video. I know it's been way too long. I know I've said this before, but I kind of go through like phases of being into certain crafts, and I just really wasn't feeling the whole drawing thing for a while. Plus, let's face it, like there's only so many ways that you can fill a sketchbook. So in today's video, I wanted to do a drawing challenge to sort of help me get back into the swing of things. I wanted to challenge myself to draw my outfits every single day for a whole entire week. And by a week, I mean Monday through Friday because we're trying to be realistic here. I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but ever since 2020 when I started working from home full time, I sort of lost like what little sense of style that I had left. And as much as I appreciate the fact that I don't have to dress up every day, let's face it, looking like a hot mess all the time, not exactly positive for your mental health or just your life in general. But honestly, the only way that I've ever been able to convince myself to do anything is to turn it into a YouTube video. So let's get into it. But speaking of working from home, real quick, I wanted to show you guys this new desk that was just sent to me by FlexiSpot. They are not paying me to promote this, but they did send me one of their dual motor bamboo standing desks to show you guys. I absolutely love FlexiSpot desks. I have some other models in my old office that I use literally every single day, but this one is their bamboo three stages dual motor electric standing desk. It comes in a couple different colors and sizes. I got the 72 by 30 inch desktop with a white frame. It has lots of great features like the keypad, which makes it super easy to move up and down, and you can program the number buttons to automatically adjust to your favorite heights too. It can go as low as 24.4 inches all the way up to 50 inches on the highest setting. The motors are super quiet, and the desktop can hold up to 220 pounds, which if you're wondering, yes, I did test that, and yes, it was very fun. Unfortunately, I spend way too much time sitting, but FlexiSpot makes being stuck at my desk a lot more bearable. Again, thank you so much to FlexiSpot for sending me this new desk. I'll have everything linked below. I definitely recommend checking them out. I'm actually in the process of moving into a new office slash craft room. It's going to need a lot of work in here, but I'm so excited to get everything fixed up. If you have any suggestions for the rest of this office, I would love to hear them. The natural light in here is actually pretty good. I do definitely want to paint. We'll figure it out. But anyways, let's get into the drawings. All right, so here's the first outfit. So when I was at the mall, I got this top from Victoria's Secret. I thought this was kind of cute with, you know, the little flowers on it. To go with it, I put these earrings, which I actually made these in a video, I think last year. And I also put this little pearl necklace, which I believe this was my grandma's. And for the bottoms, I'm just wearing this white skirt. I love these, like it has shorts under it. It's from Hollister. I literally bought this in every single color. I'm actually obsessed with these. It has the ruching at the top, so it's actually gonna fit your waist, like if you're, kind of, you know, pear-shaped like myself. It's wonderful. Shoes, I just wore black Birkenstocks. And I decided to pair it with this purse, which I got from Coach last year. And I put this little crochet flower thing on here that I made. It's like a little pouch, it opens up. I don't know like why I decided to make this, but honestly, like it's kind of perfect with this. Uh, posing. What do I do? I don't know. You don't know her. Um, Guys, I'm literally so awkward. Like, what the heck? But lately, I've been feeling like I kind of need to have more of, like, a personality in my videos. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, though. Lately, I just have not been a positive person. But anyways, you know who this outfit sort of reminds me of? Brittany Murphy's character Molly in the movie Uptown Girls. Like, this... This is the energy that I want in 2023, okay? I've actually been getting a bunch of TikToks about people recreating outfits from that movie lately. And with 2000s fashion coming back, it definitely makes sense. But one of my favorite things to do is to find clothes from TV shows and movies. And since I was thinking about Uptown Girls, I decided to see if I could find any of the clothes from that movie, which I really was not expecting to find that much. But you know what I found? Apparently, after Brittany Murphy passed away, her mom like sold all of her stuff on this auction site. I think it's called Julian's. Um, and this was back in 2012, which like also side note, Brittany Murphy deserved better, but we won't get into that. But I thought this was really cool because they list the brands of almost everything and they have a bunch of stuff from other celebrities too. Like I've seriously spent way too much time looking at this website. I've seen a couple people on TikTok recreate the dress from the beginning of the movie, which is definitely cute, but like also I'm a practical person and like I do not have an occasion to wear this even like this outfit that I'm wearing in this drawing is a stretch to be honest like <laughs> um so if I was gonna pick an outfit to like recreate it would probably be one of these ones and I actually got a top to go with this skirt so I could recreate this outfit but moral of the story I feel like if I start dressing cute then like maybe it'll make me a more fun person I don't know we will see <laughs> wish me luck for the drawing, if you've seen my videos, I've said this like a million times, I always start with alcohol-based markers, and on this one I added details with Posca pens and acrylic paint. 
I didn't want to have her just floating there, but like also I really did not feel like doing backgrounds for these, so I ended up finding this lid, tracing it, and filling it in with some paint to sort of anchor the character on the page. And here's how the drawing turned out. Okay, so the anatomy's a little off, the feet are definitely questionable, but hey, we tried. I still need to go do my hair, but um, ignore that. So this outfit is kind of what I would wear like normally. This flannel, I'm pretty sure this was from Hollister. I think I actually drew this for a video for some reason. Now that I think about it, that might have been from a Five Ways to Fill Your Sketchbook video that, and one of the prompts was to draw your outfits every day for a week. Oh, um, it's fine. We can do things twice, okay? Um, anyways, like honestly, this outfit is not that exciting. But the reason that I did this outfit is, guys, be proud of me. I actually finished it. I'll link the pattern for this if you want it. Oh my god, this literally took so long though, but I'm so happy with it. And my mom, she sewed in a lining, so it's like a full freaking tote bag. I made a little pouch for it too. You put like your AirPods in there or something. I just really wanted to show you guys this because I never finish anything and I actually finished it. So for the shoes, I am just wearing these again. The Birkenstocks. And I almost forgot I'm wearing these earrings, which I made in my paper jewelry video. I decided to draw the outfit without the flannel since I technically already drew that. Also, I forgot to say it in the clip, but literally like the whole outfit is from Hollister. Um, I've said this before, to this day, I swear I still get like 50% of my clothes from there. I've definitely aged out of their target demographic, but you know, it's not like they put the birds on everything anymore, so who's gonna know? Unless you also shop there because, okay, I got this brown shirt from there a couple months ago and like I thought this was cute, right? And I was watching the show The Connors the one day and Harris, one of the characters from the show, she was wearing the exact same one. And you know, there's probably something to be said for the fact that I literally see things on this show that I own all the time. But in any case, I guess the costume slash set designers do a pretty good job props to them. Although I have noticed on their website, like they recently started marking things in adult sizes. So like maybe they're trying to rebrand like Abercrombie did. Um, honestly, buying clothes in your 20s is so confusing. You know what? Screw it. If Betsy Johnson can dress how she wants, so can I. I also drew glasses on this one to kind of switch it up a little bit since this challenge involved drawing myself so many times. Um, that's a little narcissistic, but... It is what it is. I don't know why, like, we as a society just decided that glasses are ugly. I mean, like, I probably do look better without them, but 99% of the time, I am just out of Fs to give. I'm sorry. Like, listen, hot take, but if you look bad with glasses, you probably look bad without them, too. I don't really love how I did the face on this one, but as usual, I colored this drawing with my Ahuhu alcohol-based markers. And for the background, this time I took the lid from a Posca pen box and I traced around that and filled it in with paint. Again, just to kind of anchor the drawing on the page. And here's how the finished drawing turned out. Not exactly the most exciting outfit ever, but I am really happy that I finished that tote bag. I had to get like a minor medical procedure done last summer and I had to lay in bed for a week afterwards. It was zero out of 10, would not recommend, but I guess at least something good came out of it. Okay, so on day three, I was kind of lazy, um, ignore my messy room, but on this day, I wore my Ugg slides, another one of those skorts from Hollister. See, I wasn't lying, I told you, I bought them in literally every color. The green top is actually a bralette from Aerie, and I wore the bow necklace and the matching earrings that I made in my aesthetic jewelry video. So, like I said, I did go shopping the other day, and they just put in an Aerie at my local mall. Actually, I just looked it up, and it's literally been there for two years, but it was the first time that I was ever in there. Anywho, so I don't know if all Aerie stores have this like maybe they do they have these little curtains on the mirrors which you know slightly inconvenient but it's a nice sentiment as skeptical as i am about corporate marketing tactics i actually do really like airy it seems like they practice what they preach and the clothes they're decent quality can't complain i kind of have a hard time taking a lot of the corporate like body positivity stuff seriously though not gonna lie like definitely showing my age but when i was growing up the culture was just a lot different i don't know it just kind of feels like i'm being gaslit a little bit sometimes I mean, yeah, love yourself, sure. Like, there's always gonna be things that you can't change or things that require an unhealthy amount of effort to change. But in the real world, people are still gonna treat you differently depending on how you present yourself. And I'm not saying that it's right because it's not. I'm just saying that that's how it is. And I don't know, I just really don't appreciate being lied to. There are some, like, influencers in that genre that I see all the time and it's like, 
to me, like if you're really that happy with yourself, you're probably not out here on the internet trying to convince other people that you're happy. You know what I mean? You're probably just out living your life and not caring, which is really what we should all aspire to do, isn't it? I'm not saying that this type of stuff is bad because I actually think that it's kind of cool to see beauty standards sort of expanding a little bit. But what I am saying is that they're just trying to sell you clothes and that's my main point. Like it's all marketing. Man, and here I was, I really said I was gonna try to be more positive. Um. <laughs> Anyways, I colored this drawing a little bit differently. Um, I did the alcohol-based markers first, and I went over the skirt with some paint, but I wasn't really liking how it was looking. So then I went in with some colored pencils to add the flowers and just like kind of darken some of those shadows a little bit. I also used colored pencil for the lips, and I think that worked out a lot better than the pen that I used in the last drawing. For the background, again, I wanted to do something easy, so I found these stencils that I had, and I traced around those and filled them in with paint just like before. And here's how the finished drawing turned out. It's definitely not perfect, but but I think this drawing was probably my favorite. All right, so it's the end of the week and I only finished three drawings. Um, if you're curious, this is what I wore on Thursday. Um, my sister, she just convinced me to join a gym. We joined Planet Fitness, which like when I'm gonna have time to do this, I don't know, but I guess now I need to go invest in some like actual presentable gym clothes because I literally have not bought athletic wear since about 2014, like I'm not even joking. And then yesterday, my sister and I, we went to Hershey Park. Um, here's what I wore. But yeah, I only had time to do three drawings and I could have lied and I could have just taken more than a week to do this video. But one, I don't really feel like it. And two, sometimes you set a goal, it's a little bit too ambitious and that's okay, you know, you learn from it, you move on. And frankly, I feel like I try too hard. Like I try so hard to make everything perfect and it is not sustainable. Um, so that is the lesson. Like not everything is gonna be perfect 100% of the time and that's okay. You just don't stress out about it because I've been very stressed personally. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna be trying to set up this room a little bit so that I can have an actual like filming space. So if you like room makeovers, I'm definitely gonna have one or two of those coming up this summer. Um, if you have any like suggestions for videos that you'd like to see from me, please leave them down below. Um, guys, I'm honestly kind of running out of ideas. I can't just make the crafts I go anymore. Like I gotta have more of a personality to get people to watch a full YouTube video. Sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle to stretch these things out into like an eight to 10 minute video because realistically I could say the same thing in a one minute YouTube short, but um, I don't really wanna do YouTube shorts. I feel like I just talk about things and literally no one cares, but like that's what we're doing anyways. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this one. My merch, my website, and all of my social media will be linked down below. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you guys later. Bye.